All right, hello everyone. Here we are back for hole number four. I'm going to do a little bit modified approach just so you guys can see kind of similar perspectives here as to how to go about doing hole number four. If you guys watched my guide from yesterday, I, you know, I kind of tried to crank it a bit and uh, hit it kind of around the tree a little bit. And today what we're going to do is we're going to go kind of more with a lower power shot and kind of go the other way around the tree. So it's a little bit different perspective. Um, power three, what I usually do, uh, I'm trying to think elevation, you know, I feel it's relatively flat for the most part. I really don't see much difference. So we are going to, you know, I'm just going to go with a flat plus zero value for this drive. Here you can see that I got a POC 4 set in place now. And 9.1. It's 5.7 rings. And what I recommend is that you guys try to get, you know, hopefully more to this flat spot here. Use a lot of your top spin. And then aside from that, just use some curl. So you'll see kind of the landing zone that I'm going for. And then we'll just try to use basically an offset. So here, 5.7 rings. I'm going to go up to about, you know, 2.7, more or less. And then I'm going to pull through another three. Past the center line right in there. That's 5.7 rings. As I mentioned, you know, we're just going to curl it. We'll try to get it around the tree. Mm-mm. <clears throat> And it did shoot just under. And you can see the, the only difference with this tee shot, it's going to be a little bit shorter. You might have a little bit more of a wind angle um, with your approach shot. But one of the good things is you'll probably stay more away from the fringe. And if you guys remember my pitch from yesterday, I think I used maybe plus 10%. I'm going to use plus 15%. I remember, I think I came up a little bit short my video um, they kind of all blend together a little bit especially with as many you know videos that I've put together but I do believe that I almost had this one and it was just a little bit light so what I'm gonna do is change my elevation to a plus 15 percent and hopefully that'll get us in the ballpark and you can see from this replay that I'm playing against that's also a well done shot Kind of the very same way that I went. And you'll see that'll be basically your alternate method. Especially if you have a shorter driver. So the first thing that you'll want to do. First you'll want to find max. You'll want to find min way down here. You know I'm feeling kind of like 75-80% or so. Somewhere way up here. So 3.9 rings maybe. And maybe two and a half backspin, somewhere right in here. 3.9 rings. You know, just make sure that you can somewhat get that arrow very straight. 3.9. Perfect ball. <clears throat> and it looks like right into the cup. So you'll see that... Uh, you know, very manageable hole. When you get that one, when you get two and you get four, um, you know, we're already starting to talk low, low numbers. And, you know, these aren't very hard shots. And similarly with, uh, you know, the next hole is actually pretty easy as well. Hole five is also really easy. Um, hole seven, definitely. You know, I expect us to get hole seven as well. So all these things considered, um, you know, you're going to really give yourself the potential for 15, 16, 17, somewhere in that ballpark for this setup. The hardest part is the par threes. So all three par threes are very challenging in my opinion, whereas the, the other holes are all very, very makeable. So good luck with this hole. Um, you know, hopefully one of those two approaches will work out for you. 
and that you can see you know some consistent results on these holes and able to get some a few shots of drop as well so let me know how it goes and uh, catch you guys for hole five coming up